we're an invisible community because when they say Cleveland Indians, they, they, they think of baseball. They don't think of human beings. Philip Yenyo has been an outspoken opponent of the Indians' name and mascot for decades. Change the name! Protesting outside the stadium and advocating for change. When you take a group of people and you degrade them down to being nothing more than a cartoon. It affects their self-esteem, their self-worth, to a point where uh, they just want to numb themselves to, to this kind of uh, psychological pain. Today, those 20 plus years of speaking out and more than 50 years of fighting by others has finally come to a resolution. Today is officially the last game that we will talk about this being the Cleveland Indians. In the season finale, the Cleveland Indians took the field for the final time, an ending of an era that some fans are still bitter over. It's sad. It's horrible. I mean, why change the name? And others are feeling more bittersweet. I wish they were state Indians. That's traditional. That's, I mean, it's been around for a long time. It didn't seem like it was offending that many people, but I understand where they were coming from. I like the name now. Don't get me wrong. I don't like that they changed it, but I do like the new name. But for groups like the Lake Erie Native American Council, it's been a long time coming calling today, quote, the closure of an over 60-year fight, saying this day marks the start of an era where all families, especially indigenous families, can now live in a less racist and more welcoming city. I honestly didn't think that it was going to change during my lifetime. Meanwhile, some Ohio lawmakers are pushing for high schools to follow suit, citing a recent study that showed 79 Ohio schools still have Native American nicknames and mascots. You have an anti-bullying policy from the state level mandated to the school districts, yet you don't see this as bullying, and that needs to change. That may be coming, but for now... God, it's, it's going to be great to sit there in that ballpark. Philip will enjoy this victory and is looking forward to re-entering the ballpark for the first time since he was a little kid. Especially taking my son and my daughter there, and it's going to be great. To hopefully celebrate another victory, won by a team he now feels included to root on. Go Guardians!